Hello. Hi. Well, I know that uh, Miro is not joining today, but let's uh, give it a, a minute or two, see if uh, perhaps Nyan or Bogdan are going to join. All right, let's just get started. And if somebody joins throughout the call, that's fine too. Um,
And I'm not gonna say, even though it's just two of us, I'm not gonna this time this time around, I'm not gonna say it's probably gonna be short one because it never turns out like that. Every time I say it's <laughs> gonna be short one, it's one hour. <laughs> <laughs> so um so uh yeah, welcome George to uh and anybody who's listening um somewhere else um to uh Harry's VCX community call it's a September 21st 2023 and um this is our hyperledger anti antitrust policy notice which is in effect um starting meeting discussion um George do you have any um uh, any points you would like to address in this call uh, anything that's not already listed no hey no, guys no. hey Bogdan. hi uh okay um so in that case uh some community updates um uh so well this this has been here kind of permanently put as a reminder i still haven't managed to stop by there I had a uh, time off on Monday, so I couldn't. Um, but I was I was yesterday attending the Aries War Group call. Um, uh, and so, and so two points uh, were, well, not necessarily touched on. I didn't get to um speak about the issue credential stuff, but uh. Uh, I think the the guys are aware of uh, that there's uh, we basically moved it to the next week, but yeah, I didn't wait and I created the issue which I apparently you saw George already uh, about the some of the things we ran into uh, with the issue credential dua v two especially the uh, multi multi format issuance and also the the batching property I think. Uh, well, both of those are, are kind of questionable. So I'm raising questions here as to whether these are really necessary, if somebody's actually using it, and what do we do in uh in a V3 versions, if this can be somewhat considered uh, as we shape the next version of as a community, uh, as we shape the next version of um issues credential protocol, which will be definitely coming with the uh, adjustments needed for Ditcom v2 and i kind of also touched on I, I saw that there's a payments um uh kind of a decorator in the the issue credential v2 uh i think it makes the protocol heavier than it have to be and can be this kind of stuff can also be decoupled so also also left a point here i'm, I'm curious uh what 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 kind of discussion is gonna spur out of this um so yeah we'll see perhaps uh, uh this might be also be the better better medium to discuss uh the issue than raising it on a call and that it, on a war group call and then i have uh, five to ten minutes to discuss about it i guess this way people can read about it make up their mind and and uh next next week we can have more uh, more effect, eff more efficient discussion on on the call. Uh, then also, uh, there's a spec for DIT peer four, which is apparently nearing completion. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, I was asking on the call, for, like, how long is this gonna be open for uh, modifications? Is it usually it's easier to find out? It's easier to find out things you don't like about RFCs once you actually start to implement them. So I was asking, like, how 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 long can this stay open for modifications so we don't have to create a, a did peer version five? Um, if we run into some breaking tweaks, you would like to do, and basically, um, there's no rush. Uh, uh, I was told that there is no, no not necessarily a rush with merging this, and uh, we are welcome to you know leave uh, leave uh, feedback uh, on this. But yeah, so I I kind of uh, left a comment here that uh, we'll be starting implementing this just so that they are aware of it, 
and uh, hopefully waiting for us to provide some feedback if we if it turns out that we have any um i think nevertheless i, I think it would be good if we um uh, start working on this rather sooner than later i think uh early october early october should be late as we should start looking into this um and yeah uh i don't know i, I saw that the discussion uh last co kind of community uh happening wise uh so the the issue you george created a while ago uh i know it, it seems a little bit stale the last comment was two weeks ago do you know if there's I don't know any any develop further developments of this? I, I saw Andy was uh, talking about some uh, uh, releases here. Uh, do you know if anything came out? No, I haven't. I haven't heard anything. Right. Okay. Well, we'll see. I, I haven't checked the repos if there's possibly any releases. Uh, so it might be something we've missed. I guess. Just just want to uh, keep track of this. So uh, I think uh, we can keep it here until these things become resolved. Um, yeah, and then, and then, well, before I move on to mentorship updates, uh, is, any, is, any, do you, is any of you any, any kind of uh, community updates or attended any, any, any calls to report on by a chance? Well, I guess that means no, so that's fine. Uh, let's move on to mentorship updates. Uh, so we ah we also have Nayan join join the call eventually. Welcome, Nayan. Uh, hey. So we can start with a mediator. So it 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 came uh it, it happened to be that you usually come and uh, come and report as to. To, to about your st status so uh do you have any uh news and uh progress updates for us this week hello uh, am i audible yes yes i have a small update so uh, can i share my screen certainly Okay, so last time I think I had demoed this. Uh, that is, this is the mediator displaying an out of band invite. So this is currently implemented for the mediator part. Then uh, this past week I was working on the client side of the mediator that is uh, making a connection uh, using this out of band invite. Last time I think I had also demoed the web UI for making a client request. So George mentioned last time about if I had tried to do a CLI and I had mentioned that it's a bit not very ergonomic. So I did think about it though later again uh, when George mentioned and I thought, okay, a CLI is not very ergonomic, but a TUI could uh, kind of be possible for ADs. So I went ahead and experimented with uh, this library called Cursive and I have something right now. So this, for example, you can see, uh, this is the TUI that I created for the Aries Mediator client. So you get a list of endpoints, just like you would have endpoints for the web UI. You can have a list of them here. And then you can use your mouse to select it and you get this nice uh, uh, display box where you can manually copy paste. So for example, I'm now here copying the OB invite from the web page and pasting it here. So it works fine. And you can try to connect. So right now it's showing a 404 because uh, the mediator side of receiving the uh, connection request isn't implemented yet. But as you can see, you can kind of have a terminal UI for the client also. Yes. Uh, and yeah, uh, so right now I'm working on the mediator side of accepting the connection and sending back a response. And I hope that by maybe next week, I'll have the connection part wholly set up. Yes, the, that's it for now. Uh, 
thank you thank you uh that's very cool uh looking forward to see uh you know making connections through this uh this u this ui and like fetching checking for the messages can be actually really uh really cool demo to show once we have well, once like the whole ditcom kind of interface is integrated here and uh, I would be able to click a button like fetch messages and see all the messages and from whom they've been sent. Uh, yes. That's going to be really cool for like demo purposes. And yeah, actually, actually like I would like to, and this applies for the both projects, both for the mediator and the, the uni FFI uh, wrapper. It would be, uh, I think, uh, nice to make a small, small demo on some of the areas of our group calls just to show what we are up to and uh, what are the outputs of the, the mentorship as we are running. And I think this will be like really a beautiful demo for that, for that purpose to actually show them like, oh, you can like fetch the messages from the mediator, you know, send the messages and so on and so forth. It's gonna be cool. I'll share my screen back. Uh, yeah, and then so moving on to the uh, good job again, Anne. Um, uh, I think now just like briefly, I guess like going forward, perhaps next week we might have the connection completed. Do you think? Uh, like you know, established it connection. Yes, definitely. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, uh the unif5 project there's lots of prs i think uh, george you are having a hard time to keep up <laughs> with uh, <laughs> we're coming from uh softmail is that right yeah yeah i um I, I'll, I'll suggest something new and then it'll end up in another pr um so maybe it's my fault for not waiting till the first one's done before recommending other things <laughs> but it, it's it's going well the project um the connection implementation is uh done uh i think swapnil's addressed my final comment now um but then we were earlier this week we were having a look at how we can refactor the app a little bit to make it more readable and understandable to people who look at it mm -hmm. um swapnil's put that into another pr now um so yeah i just need to spend some time to um merge them uh there's there's two that should be good uh, and then one that needs a review um and we did some script uh optimizations as well so yeah it should be easier for um you know someone like you or just a random android developer to try spin up the project themselves uh, with the simplest script. Um, yeah, and in the meantime, uh, Swapnil has been looking at the issue credential v1 protocol. And that's the next task. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Uh, when do you, do you think that uh, we would, I mean, there's not necessarily any rush with doing this. I was just thinking about doing some demo, like, you know, dedicating, you know, five minutes to talk about uh, each of these projects, maybe on different calls, so we wouldn't take much too much space of a single Aries for a group call. But uh, mm. do you think there that the, mm, that the app is like uh, nearing a stage where there will be something de demoable? I guess maybe the 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 connections working and the and the issue issuance protocol in, being implemented. I guess that's something that will be uh, you know dem dem demoable. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if waiting for the issuance protocol to be implemented would be the best idea before mm. doing any demo. Just might be a little more impressive i guess yeah yeah i guess uh i guess uh we so we wouldn't demo it multiple times so i guess it's better to uh make sure that uh things are right rather than 
a rush quickly to show what, what has been done. Yep. Yeah. All right. But yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. No. No. No rush with that. Just I guess. Uh, let let's let's keep it in mind that like eventually we want to show this to like wider community. So we should have uh we should have I mean for for now and we can uh we can. And I wouldn't do live demos, rather just like do uh, uh I don't know one two minute recording of of the of the things of those things. Uh, but for for now, that can be the the terminal UI kind of demonstration, and and yeah, maybe from from the app, it can be just recording of like connect scanning QR code and then getting some credential from there. Uh, and and, and yeah, also along with that, uh, like I think once we like show it to the world, we should also make sure to have a uh, some nice uh, nice readmes about it. But we still have what uh, month and a half till the end of mentorship. Is that right? Something like that. So yeah, should be enough time. Uh, all right. So going through our usual parts uh overview so it's not much stuff this week i think uh we had the uh, limb fixes uh it's yet to be merged but i consider it as to be done the ci looks like it's gonna pass um has my approval on it um so i know if you guys want to have a look at it it's a <laughs> it's a huge delta um, but yeah, that should be pretty much ready. Um, I got lost. There we are. Uh, then there was um, further integration test refactoring them, but done by Miro. I don't think I'm going to explicitly go into details. It was refactoring. And then similarly, some dependency cleanups from myself. Uh, some dependencies which are not necessary. Um, I want to add something regarding the lint fixes for, mm -hmm. I assume, in particular to George, if he wants to have another look over it. Or, um, yeah, the description pretty much said that the like bigger crates like Aries VCX, Aries VCX Core, and Live VCX are going to be handled in separate PRs, which they were, but the PRs were based on this one. And I saw that you merged the VCX core one so i merged the other one too so they're now part of this which makes it bigger i guess but um just just as an fyi right so the incremental approach is sort of out the window yeah i mean i would have i would have honestly merged this one first into main and then rebase or just yeah yeah apologies for that i actually didn't notice that um it was based on this one so it's uh it's my mistake um yeah. okay. i i would i would yeah. generally also uh like uh actually prefer that approach as well having them merge separately so if if you are fine with that we could perhaps you could um force push into this PR, the original pre-merge version, and then recreate those PR so we can merge them into main, or? I don't have it anymore. Well, it's, uh, I guess it's uh, still out there. Uh, I guess restorable. 988, mm. there's I a way know. to restore the branch. So You can like restore the... this branch, but not the ones it was merged into. And I don't really, I mean, Ah, okay. I did it right. I, yeah, um, I don't know why you merged it, honestly, but yeah. Um, like I said, when I saw that you merged this one, I just merged the other one. I thought that you just wanted to have one bigger PR. Um, but I think we can just leave it as it is right now. The, the Aries VCX and Aries VCX core PRs were approved. Um, by both you and Mira. So I guess that's fine. Um, and this one will basically incorporate this. So I'll do live VCX in a separate one. And we'll more, it's gonna still gonna be based on this, but uh, we're, we're gonna merge them into main separately, I, I guess. The live VCX is the most um, troublesome one anyway when it comes down to lens, so. Mm. 
Yeah, sorry about that again. I I no, no worries. Uh, we could probably there. restore things, but I I think that's just wasted effort right now going through mm -hmm. commits and um. I'm not sure exactly. Like I know there were some modifications done before. I had to rebase some stuff. I don't think it's gonna be all that straightforward, and I I really don't wanna mm. go down that road right now. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what was uh, the discussion between you, Bogdan, and George. Uh, it, it, it seems like you had some communication about this, which I kind of didn't realize. Uh, George, are you are you fine with uh, despite what happened <laughs> that we actually got it merged? Are you fine with uh, uh, going forward and merging this? Yeah, no, that, that's okay. Um, yeah, Bogdan had just explained the incremental approach to me before. Um, but yeah, mm. it's all good. I'll, I mean, it I'll was also in the description. It's also in the description of the PR, but yeah, yeah. Uh, George, do you want to um, a leave review for for this one? Yeah, I've I've already looked at the the dot Rust format file, and you know, didn't didn't scare me or anything. Uh, so I guess I'll just yeah do a review and prove it. All right. Good to me. All right. Okay. Um. Lost again. There we go. Well, uh, parked, uh, parked tasks. At the did exchange for a while. Um, uh, I think we should. Uh, First, uh, at least implement the DP4 and then sync it up with those changes. And then perhaps we can actually uh, merge the exchange PR. And similar for the demo, um, I was actually working on this further after I got uh, the reviews from you guys. I haven't addressed everything. There's still comments from George I need to address. Uh, but I did address uh, kind of uh, bigger impact, higher impact um, uh, request from, from Bogdan. So I have removed actually the HTTP messaging from here. So the, all the messaging now hap is happening through the MPSC uh, channels and it's uh it's a bit simpler um i know i guess uh i will mark you for re-review but uh i'll i'll yet want to finish up those pending comments and that will be uh, ready for the new review i think essentially what this is becoming a uh, little by little is a uh, kind of an integration test for connections. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think that this could be uh, kind of a good, good pattern for those. Uh, but let me let me know what you guys think. I'll 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 ping you once that is ready. So I'll I'll just move on for now. Um, in progress, yeah, still kind of preparing for the VRDR tools, uh, anon credit removal, and obviously from George's side, a V2 issuance slash presentation protocols drafting. Um, I don't think we have planned anything new right now other than what we are already doing. And that brings us to the end of the discussion. And um, any other points you guys have to bring up? Um, yeah, so today for me was, uh, mostly looking at, uh, the message structs for the V2 issuance, uh, protocol, um, and there's a draft PR up for that, uh, but I'm not entirely sure if I've done the right thing, um, because I don't think there is a comparison to look at, uh, in the messages crate where there's sort of different versions for the same message um but yeah yeah bogdan you, you've seen my private message um 
just whenever you have time to look at that and tell me what's wrong or right, uh, we can work with it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right. Um, let me just quickly skim skim through this. And I am. Uh, okay. And uh, did you have something to? Uh, did you want to say something? You were unmuted for a while. Yes, uh, so I have some thing to say about the wallet implementation. There's mm -hmm. this unbanked message. Um, so base wallet has this unpack message that takes in uh, an encrypted message and gives out a vector. So initially when using that uh, in the client implementation of Aries, I had some confusion of what this vector actually is. And I did take a look at the Aries demo that you uh, have on GitHub right now. And like there I saw that you have uh, this private structure called unpack, uh, where you have message, sender, very key, and recipient key as the three different uh, properties of that structure. And then you're uh, deserializing that uh, vector that unpack message returns into that. Uh, but it's not really very clear for any random user of the mm. wallet. Like, what is that vector exactly? Because it's a very opaque, long vector. Like, we don't know what things it contains. I did, uh, in fact, like, take a look, like, going down the rabbit hole uh, by, I mean, by seeing the implementation of uh, Indie Wallet, and then from there going into... Aries VCX core, signing.rs, and then deeper and deeper. And I ended up at VDR tools, where the actual structure is defined, the unpack message. So like since VDR tools is, I guess, a optional dependency, it would be nice to, in the wallet itself, have some documentation of the structure of this return unpack message. Yeah. Or yeah. Maybe, uh, or maybe we could even uh, return the unpack message structure itself directly rather than yeah. a vector. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Big agreed from me. Uh, I think I think the base wallet should just return the struct. Um, Swapnil had this same problem uh, last week and was confused by the vector of U8s because it is confusing. Well, the problem actually goes way deeper than that. It's uh, right now, I'm not sure how willing or um, how worth it would be to change VDR tools, but it's a whole mess of serializing and deserializing some JWS or JWE, I don't remember, um, structures. And yeah, the, the vector of, of bytes was basically, um, I guess a, a representation of that. So like a serialization of that GWE structure, which uh, I guess Patrick replicated in the in the in the demo uh, with that unpack message. Um, the, sorry, but the, the JWE you're referring to is the, the packed message for that rather than right. the result of the unpack message, which is just the format that they've made up. Um, okay. Yeah. Mm, fair enough. I mean, I, I guess, but it definitely goes both ways. And they're not only kind of weird and confusing, but they're also kind of suboptimal. Mm. But okay. uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how worth it would be to go down into VDR tools and try to make that better. Uh, or what plans are regarding using other wallet implementations like Oscar or something like that. Yeah, I, I would suspect that Oscar might be better in the in terms of 
efficiency. Also, I haven't looked at the code necessarily, just assuming based on the fact that it's like refactored component. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, uh, the, the the least we can do, at least for Nan and, and, and newcomers, is hot nil. Anyone, anyone else, I guess, is to to just uh, yeah, tweak the, those APIs on, on Aries VCX level, the stuff we provide, and return something more uh, reasonable, uh, despite the fact that maybe the underlying VDR tools wallet implementation is uh, not, not ideal. So yeah, thank you, Nan. Uh, we'll, we'll get that addressed. Or if you would like to, um, you can actually take that issue and uh, try to try to address it yourself and like review or PR. But uh, you should you should primarily focus on the on the connections. But if you like to take this as a side quest, so to speak, then um, you're free to do so. Yeah, sure. I mean, I I was doing this anyway. Like this morning, I was kind of digging down this hole, trying to understand what it is. So now that I have, I think I can make a PR. Uh, changing that structure. So one question I would have if I do this is, uh, should I return a different structure uh, in the base wallet uh, trait or should I just add the documentation regarding what the structure looks like of the vector? Now it's probably in towards just returning the some, some, some sort of struct because yeah. we always, whenever we unpack message, we want to actually work with the data and and usually we don't work it with work with it I, I don't i don't think there's a case um where we work with in, in in such an opaque way typically when we unpack it we want to inspect uh, what the actual message is and what the what the send what the sender work is stuff like that so right. I guess in some 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 I, I can imagine that there would be scenarios where you actually want to get uh, just a raw kind of data as a UA vector UA and then just pass it somewhere else. But uh, I don't think we have such a case now, and it, it is more confusing than it has to be. So you can create new struct. I think you guys you guys agree with that? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. So I, I'll just, I guess, once ask you where the struct should be, and then uh, I'll change the uh, trade definition of base wallet and the implementation in the indie wallet to return those structures. Um, well, yeah, yeah, I guess uh, something like that. You, you also have to possibly change lots of random places in code. I, I don't know if many. But uh, yes, we'll be for sure, you know, all the places which are calling the code, we'll probably have to tweak a bit. So you'll have a, your footprint all over the code base, possibly. OK. OK, I'll take a look sometime uh, in the evening today, maybe. All right. Okay, guys. Um, anything else? Um, if there's nothing else from anyone, um, just on the Aries RFC issue you raised, um, I'm not sure if you saw my reply, uh, but I think the presentation protocol V2 is a very similar story, but mm -hmm. they they do draw attention to the fact that it's an array. Um, so you can sort of see the quote there and I, I'm having a hard time understanding what they're trying to say hmm. with this here. Um, I think they're trying to say that you can attach, you know, five different presentation requests in different formats and then the holder or the prover is only meant to reply to one of them that they can reply to. But I don't know if that's that's what they're trying to say. 
in addition, is that this correct place I'm reading here? Oh yeah. The, in addition, the egg and problem for messages are adopted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the messages that include attach attachments may use any form of embedded attachment. In the examples below, the forms of attachments are arbitrary. The attach array is to be used to enable single presentation to be requested, delivered in in different verifiable presentation formats. The ability to have multiple attachments must not be uh, to request request deliver multiple different presentation of a single instance. I I think I'm not hundred percent sure. The way I understand it so far from this uh, like brief read here, I I think there's multiple ways how um. Oh, but there's also formats here. I, I think oh, George oh. is right. And I, I guess it's fairly straightforward, which would make more sense. I would make it less stupid, honestly, that, OK, they allow you to have an array of whatever attachments because you can have an array of formats. And it essentially allows you to send the, send the same message, the same attachment, but encoded in different formats so that the counterparty can choose whichever they want. Um, I guess that that makes more sense rather than the ability of sending multiple like unrelated attachments, presentations or proposals or whatever hmm. in the same in the same message. Yeah, yeah that, that that makes sense. I think that that's um, how I understood it as well. I'm just wondering if it's if it's uh, some sort of um, different what kind of form i'm just wondering what kind of formats there there can be i i know there's a i'm, I'm wondering if it refers to like kind of formats of um uh, attachments in general because i know there's like three i heard that there's three different ways how to uh work with attachments or format them or i'm wondering if it really refers to the some sort of format of the presentation itself that's I'm not quite clear about. I I think it's Isn't that, there like, that table scroll point? down. Yeah, if you scroll down, there'll be the registry. Hmm. There you go. Propose attachment registry. These right. are links to proof requests there. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> right, because when you're... I guess when you're sending presentation request... Here's a question. When you're sending presentation request, right, you, as a verifier, do you specify... Yeah, you, I guess you, you, you don't or you can't uh, specify the format? Do you know, George? Request presentation. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so yeah, you added it in the format. Right. When you're requesting a presentation, you formats contains entry for each uh, request presentation attach array entry mm, from the attachment registry below. Oh, okay, I see. Right, so we specify one of these three, or maybe all of them. Like that's that's for you. That's yeah, what, my yeah. understanding of the language is you can request all three, but you should only expect them to respond to one of them mm, that yeah. they can't present. I, I guess I don't know. I don't understand the use case, but yeah, cool. Mm. Yeah, well, let's see. Uh, what what comes out of this? What's the mm. other? community members thinking and if this being actually used that's uh that's what i wonder about the most yeah all right um
let's uh let's i guess um i'm just looking at the list of to do's here i you know i crossed the link fix since we are getting addressed now next next week i'll delete it um just look at this repo reorg point here um wondering if uh shall we if we shall start doing some sort of uh you know merge not necessarily merge these projects but uh create some sub some some root directories and and squash a bunch of crates in there for example the did come like did and did resolver related stuff i think this would be best a discussion if mira was all, would also be present hmm. okay then uh, perhaps we can uh, we can go through it through chat or discuss it on chat or or, or maybe next week yeah. uh, and we can try to find agreement which of these things can be sharing directory or if there's anything or if there's any crates that shall be merged um stuff like that so yeah let's let's try to discuss that and get it a bit simplified here so lots of directories very overwhelming for some some new new newcomers i think okay guys um i think that's it is that it <laughs> I hope so because I really gotta go. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you and have a good week. Cool. Thank Thanks you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.